Hello, I am Vishal Parikh. Today we are going to explore more on shaping of data. So what we are going to study today is, today we will cover is how can we perform stemming and removing of stop words inside our text documents. So let us move towards stemming and removing of stop words. Now the first question arises: what is stemming? So stemming is a process of reducing the words to their stem or root words. Now why we do this process? Because it simplifies our text and it reduces the number of textual elements inside our document. Why it is necessary? Because if we reduce the number of phrases and whenever we will be working with a computational algorithm, it will work much faster as well as it will process the text more efficiently. Now, how can we perform this stemming and removing of stop words? So, Python provides us a library for performing stemming and removal of stop words. So, which library is available? So, the library that is provided is NLTK, that is Natural Language Toolkit. So, whenever we want to perform stemming or we want to remove the stop words, we have to use the library that is Natural Language Toolkit. Now, how can we do this? So, first of all, we have to download this library and install it from the website. So, the website is nltk.org and inside this, there is a page which is data.html so whenever you will refer this page you can download this NLTK library now after downloading this library we need to import this library into our Jupyter notebook so how can we do this so for that we have to import NLTK now there are two different approaches so the first is you can directly download from our website or second is by importing the package and we can download our package that is NLTK. So how can we do that? So first we need to import the package that is NLTK and we have to do NLTK.download. So this package will get installed inside your environment and then we can directly work over NLTK. Now we will see how we can remove words that includes stop words and we will see how we can work with stemming and removing with stop words. So first what we need to do, the first of all we need to import a library that is from sklearn. So this sklearn comes under machine learning. So sklearn dot feature underscore extraction dot text. Why we have to import, why we have to use this for because we need to perform extraction of features with the help of machine learning. So from sklearn dot feature underscore extraction dot text import star. Now whenever we want to do the stemming and removing of stop words, the library that we have to use is NLTK that is natural language toolkit. So first we have imported that is import NLTK. Now inside this NLTK library we are having a concept that is known as word tokenize. So first we will import that. So NLTK import word tokenize. Now next thing we have to import is porter streamer. So again this comes under NLTK library that is NLTK.stem.porter that is import porter stemmer. Now there is a method which is known as porter stemmer that will return you the stemmer object. So what was the meaning of stem? It means we want to extract the root words. Now what I have done for stemming of tokens, I have defined a function which is named as stem underscore token. This function is taking two different parameters. So the first is your tokens and the second is your stemmer. Now, whenever I want to extract the root words, so for that first what I have done, I have created a list which is named as stemmed. Now what I am doing, I am iterating through all the tokens. Now from where this token will come, so again here I have defined a function which is named as tokenize. Inside this, it will take the text. Now this tokenize function will what do it will perform word tokenization of your text so there is a method that is word underscore tokenize so inside this we will pass our text and 
this will give us tokens so i am storing this tokens inside a variable which is named as tokens now what i am doing i want to pass this tokens to this function which is named as stem underscore token so what i am doing i am invoking a function from this token as function so which function i am invoking that is stem underscore tokens inside this first parameter i am passing is tokens and the second parameter i am passing is my stemmer now what this function will return it will return me the stems now once you will receive this tokens i am iterating through each and every tokens and i am storing the individual items in a variable which is named as item now what i am doing i am appending the stemmed word inside the list which is named as stemmed so how can we do that so for that i am using an append method of my list that is stemmed dot append and i am using stemmer object dot i am having a method which is named as stem inside this i am passing my individual elements now what this function will return it will return me the stemmed words now first we need to have a text so what i am doing i am taking a vocabulary which is named as vocab and inside this i am storing a sentence inside the list that is sam loves swimming so he swims all the day now whenever we want to work with stop words so different languages have different types of stop words so for that whenever you want to deal with english language at that time we have to specify that which stop words we are considering so first what i am doing here i am using count vectorizer as a function inside this i am passing my tokenizer there is a parameter which is tokenizer and inside this i am invoking a function that will tokenize my text so the first first parameter is tokenizer and it is what it expects it expects tokens or we can say that is stems so i am invoking this particular function that is tokenize so what it will do it will runtime invoke this function which is named as tokenize and second parameter what i need to pass is my stop words that is which language stop words i want to identify so for that we are having an attribute which is named as stop underscore words and i am using the language equal to english for different languages there are different stop words so for simplicity as we are dealing with english language i have passed here stop words equal to english now what i am doing i am fitting this particular vector which i have received what i have received is vector now i want to fit it so i want to fit which particular vocabulary so i want to fit this that is sam loves swimming so he swims all the day so it will fit this particular vocabulary now again there is a method which is known as transform so what i want to do i want to transform this particular text now if you observe over here i have used here is stop words so what are the stop words for example if i am using comma i am using full stop question marks exclamation marks all this comes under your stop words so here i have passed a text which is containing your stop words so i have transformed it and i am storing it in a variable which is named as sentence 1 now what i want to get i want to get the features or the important words that are present inside my sentence so for that again what i have done i have used this vac variable and there is a method which is named as get underscore feature underscore names so what it will do it will extract all the words which are important to us so again i am printing it and i am converting this sentence that is sentence one into an array so what i have done i have used a method that is known as to array so let us run this so it might take some time so it will internally work and it will give you the resultant output so here you can see 
that it has returned us the feature name so what is this feature name so these are the words that are important and rest of the words it has discarded so which word he, it has considered that means it has considered this word which is named as love it has considered sam swim and time so rest of the word it is not necessary in this particular documents so whenever we want to work with this machine learning the machine learning should take this only as an input it doesn't take the entire row statement as an input so it will take only this statements or we can say these features as an input and it will perform your resultant functionality and it will give you the output so what we have seen here is how we can perform stemming and how we can remove the stop words which are present inside our particular text documents so for that what we have to do we have to use two libraries the first is sklearn as i want to extract the features so feature underscore extraction dot text and the second important library that is nltk why for performing stemming and removal of stop words so what we have seen we have seen how we can perform stemming and removing stop words from our text documents thank you